Would you like to see how I painted this tree by masking it out first? Hello and welcome to my channel. Stay tuned with me till the end as I am going to show you the whole process and more. This is the initial line work that I am doing with a 2B graphite pencil on a watercolor paper. It's a simple painting so there's not too much of line work to be done, just the main tree, the horizon line and a few other trees in the background. So let's get started. And now comes the main part of applying the masking tape. This is a simple masking tape that we get from any hardware store. I am simply pasting strips of this masking tape over the entire tree as I want to block it off. As I do not want to have the paint from the sides to run over the surface of the tree which I want to remain blank. I am cutting off the tape at the edges of the tree with a cutter so that we have the exact shape of the tree masked out. This will block off the entire shape of the tree wherever we want to and later when we paint over it, the exact shape of the tree will remain unpainted. While doing this cutting, utmost care has to be taken to see that the underneath paper does not get cut accidentally. And of course take care of your own hands too, we don't want ourselves to get hurt. Once the pasting is done, press down the tapes at the edges and corners firmly but not too tightly as if you press it down too tightly it may be difficult to remove it later on and it may spoil the paper too. And now that the masking is done, we will wet the entire paper and run the brush loaded with water over this pasted tape. And now with our regular wet in wet technique, I am painting the background. All the colors that I am using for this entire painting are Gambogeu, Orange, Yellow Ochre, Raw Sienna, Burn Sienna, Raw Umber and a bit of Black. Considering the light source to be at the center of the paper, I am keeping the centers in light tones and I am having darker values towards the periphery. As the surface is wet, all the hues will merge with each other seamlessly and so work up the values from light to dark till you get the desired result. Once this initial layer is done, let the paper dry completely and then continue adding more and more details in darker values in subsequent layers and since the tree is masked out at this stage, we need not bother about the paint running over it which is the whole purpose of having the masking tape in the first place. We will be painting this tree foliages in the same use as mentioned before, varying them here and there as per the light source. As always I am using this scumbling technique for painting the tree foliages. Now this scumbling technique, the masking technique, the wet in wet technique, these are all some of the techniques that can be used in watercolor paintings. If you would like to know more about them, there are some two videos on my channel explaining some 16 such techniques the link of which have been given in the description if you are a beginner especially you may want to have a look at them later on I'm painting the background trees in lighter values so that the depth of the painting is brought out and which gives almost a three dimensional effect to the painting.
do keep softening the edges with a damp brush wherever required for a softer look and now when the background is done comes the crucial part of removing the masking tape remember very well that the tape and the surrounding areas have to be completely dry before you take the masking tape off because otherwise it can tear off the underlying paper and we definitely don't want that the tape will have to be removed very slowly and patiently so that you don't spoil the underneath paper this removal of the tape can be very exciting as it is magical to see how the shape that we created was blocked off once the entire masking tape is removed we continue painting over the tree area to show its shading and other details I am splattering some paint on the foreground and the foliages to have a textured effect. A few finishing touches here and there and our painting is done. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notifications for future videos. If you liked the video, do give it a like and do leave your valuable comments too as I would like to read about them as it encourages me to create more for you. You may also share it with your friends. And to enjoy more such videos, you may click on the end screens displayed here. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.